Hi, Tony Selzer here. Welcome to the line. You know, I search all over the country trying to find other people that are carrying the torch with me, really searching for technology companies, really companies B2B that are doing, I'm just going to say it, stupid things and how they go to market. And I know, you know, I'm incredibly charismatic in how I just described that, but let's just talk about some basic fundamental problems we see companies do. I've got Greg Seek with Seek Growth. What a great name for a marketing firm, right? Um, but not just a marketing firm, really that's that, that strategic advisor that comes in and doesn't always tell you what you want to hear, right? It's not our job to tell you that you have a pretty baby. Sometimes we got to tell you your baby's ugly. And and Greg is one of those guys that will stand his ground and do that. Greg, how'd you get into this this marketing game? Hey, Tony, thanks. Yeah, uh, I got into it a long time ago. I think I got into it, you know, as a kid when uh, when you got to sell sell things to uh, to earn money to buy candy. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've been at it ever since um, across a ton of categories from hamburgers to cars to semiconductors. And um, what's interesting to me is, is just it, it's about problem solving. It's about understanding people and it's about connecting brands and companies to people. Well, I think I think another way another way of saying this is you got into it before they gave away eighth grade or eighth place prizes, right? I mean, they first and <laughs> so, so so there is no eighth place, right? 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 So you know, and and I we were kind of ranting on before about like you know p the problem of the position, right? The position problem, and this is something you and I were talking about. You know. You're either on the simplicity end, you know, or you're on the solution end, and you can't be all things to everybody. And and that's something you're passionate about too, right? Finding alignment and how you take your message to market and intact all the way through the tactical execution. Isn't that something you see a lot of clients make mistakes in? Uh, you, you know, I see I see clients do it well. I see clients uh, make mistakes, uh, and you can make mistakes at, at the strategic end where you're mm -hmm. you're just flat positioning yourself incorrectly, mm -hmm. uh, and you can make mistakes at the tail end where you're not tactically connecting either with a message or or with a with a medium or with a channel. So it, it's complicated, uh, no question about it. Mm -hmm. And so, so let's talk tech for a second, because that's my favorite subject. And I love, I love really figuring out how, you know, if someone's created an answer to the cancer, right? We really, it's our duty. It's really our, it's, it's what we are supposed to do as business people is to help that answer meet that solution to your point. And, and really, I see a lot of fundamental problems where people are trying tactics and they're not really putting together the overall strategic plan on why, the how, and the what. And is that something you've come across too? Do you see, do you see guys not, you know, they're, they're kind of fishing instead of really setting intention and going where they want to go? Yeah, I think there's a, the, the, especially in technology, as companies are sort of, <clears throat> excuse me, as companies make the move from when they're selling to the place they used to work or they're selling to the, the people they know really well and they need to start selling in the market broadly, mm -hmm. uh, they define their customer as, you know, do they have a pulse mm -hmm. as opposed to, you know, do we really know who this, this solution or this product or this offering serves and, and have a real laser-like focus on getting to the right people with the right message. Mm -hmm. um, so see that a lot, mm -hmm. you know, the all things to all people, mm -hmm. you got to sell stuff, you got to get revenue, but at the same time, uh, uh, with limited resources, that's not a good way to go. Well, I take that a step further. I, I, I really think that when you're launching a tech firm, a lot of what, a lot of the time they find you. And it's the DNA and the way you've been shaped inside that organization, the solution, the, the entire way the organization's built that matches customer to service provider or customer to software. And, and, and so learning that and replicating that is really the duty of, the, of that company to, to, to find scale there, right? And, and that's one of the things that when I, I was so attracted to your site and what you're, the type of things you're doing, that seek growth thing, right? I mean, 
companies in tech can grow like no other space. When you're working with these tech guys, what is it you see that, what's your methodology on helping them get to the next level? You know, the, the methodology is, is the tried and true methodology. And, and it comes down to what is it that they think, what is it that they need to accomplish? Mm -hmm. How big can they get? How fast can they get? How big are their aspirations? Mm -hmm. uh, and then you have to match, you know, match the program against that. You have to help them understand what they're going to need to do to to meet their potential, mm -hmm. uh, to hit their numbers. Mm -hmm. um, that comes down to, the basic, you know, my 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 approach is let's understand this category. Let's understand what the customer is all about, what their needs are. Um, let's understand, you know, who's doing well from a competitive perspective. You know, whose lunch can we eat? Mm -hmm. And then what are the strengths and weaknesses of them as a brand, as a company, as an offering? Mm -hmm. And from there, you can create some very, very strong uh, uh, positioning, messaging, brand platforms uh, and, and programs. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and one of the things, you know, this is sort of an aside. One of the things that I see is, is that especially in tech companies, they're like, I want to get out there right now. Mm -hmm. You know, well, get me on Facebook. I'm like, well, you know, fine. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what do you want to say? You know, and why do you want to be there? And, and what are you trying to accomplish? But they're, you know, very much uh, uh, ready, fire, aim kind mm -hmm. of guys mm -hmm. more than package goods guys I worked with 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. Well, and I, I'll, I'll say it for you because you were you were skirting around it and I think you wanted, you're trying to be political. Social media is not the answer. It is a part of a solution. It's part of a tactic, but getting it out there is not the solution, right? It's finding a guy like you who's been there and done that, who's got, you know, you and I will probably come up with the same five, 10 things to help a company, but it's the order that you and I spend that money in a way to grow that company. That's what they're paying for. It's not making the same mistakes again and again and again, because you and I have been there, done that. The, we, you know, we have the scars and the gray hair to prove it, right? And that's really what they need to do. If they're seeking growth, right? You got to find a guy like Greg who's going to help you get that growth. That's the play. And, and you can't, you were great at designing the technology. You know, you're a mile deep in an inch wide. Stay there and run in your swim lane and let guys like us help you get, you know, get it across the goal line. I mean, is that kind of oversimplifying it? Well, it's not oversimplifying it. You know, I don't think that if I'm a, if I'm a technology company, I'm under $50 million in sales mm -hmm. that I can afford to have you know, Tony or Greg on staff full time mm -hmm. running my marketing program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't do it. You know, why would you lay a half a million dollars of salary into a, a, a company that small when you can go out and buy it surgically and tactically? Mm -hmm. And I, I'm happy to do it. I love it. I want to be involved in a bunch of different places. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's that's my advice. Absolutely. Yeah. And you can fire us every month if we don't do our job, right? I mean, that's the case of being a consultant. Hey, thanks so much for having us on. Thanks so much for having us on the show. I'm so glad we got it in, man. Absolutely, Tony. Good talking to you. You Good too. Good talking to you.